<laughs> hey, what's up? This is Jay Lately chilling out here with KCR College Radio, the Sound Estate. Much love, y'all. Chia. My name is Jay Lately, and I'm happy to be here with y'all tonight. KCR exclusive right here. Pardon me if I get emotional. Uh. Pour me another, apparently I'm coming custom to keeping a pair with me, slipping the drink, tell me this isn't therapy, please. Now, listen. Said I speak to myself when I rap So I could care less if you didn't like that Cause that isn't your job and that isn't my knack I don't mean to offend you, I'm just saying facts You can call them opinions, I'm okay with that So just breathe, I know you need that Just breathe Alright, you're here with KCR College Radio Secret Sessions I'm DJ JP Steezen and I have to my left Jay Lately Yes, yes, how y'all doing? First and foremost, what does Jay Lately stand for? Uh, so the J is just my first name, which is Jeremy, and then the lately uh, comes from the idea basically that we should never be the same. Uh, like oh. every day we should be growing. So basically this is me lately, and uh, I think in hip-hop a lot of the time people have this idea that you're supposed to say, stay the same, you know what I mean? And right. it's wrong if you switch up or it's wrong if you change. Um, but I, I personally feel like you should change every single day, otherwise you're wasting your time. Yeah, as a species you all change, you know, we adapt. That's what you're doing, right? Yeah. Adapting. Cool, cool. I also saw that you have kind of like a your logos of a panda. Yeah. Yeah. What's the, what's your inspiration behind that? So yeah, the the panda logo is my clothing company, which is called Unusual Suspects. And okay. um, so basically, the idea behind the panda is like this idea that that basically a panda is gonna be like the sweetest, nicest, chill. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. cause you no trouble. Like Jack but, Black. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come on. Come on through, man. You good? Yeah. Um, but like, if you if you piss a panda off, or if you do, if you make okay. a panda, it will rip your head off. You nice. know what I mean? It yeah, has yeah, a strength, yeah. so it's like this saying of "Don't take my kindness for weakness." I'm gonna be kind, man, all the time until you until you force me not to, and that's like a panda, in my opinion. That's, that's and, great, and for one though. thing, who doesn't like pandas? You know yeah. what I mean? Have you ever no, met somebody pandas. who's like, yo, I, f I hate pandas, yeah, man. No. Like, I, I would love to shoot a panda. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. <laughs> never. And we have that new panda at the San Diego Zoo also, so that's hey, cool. Hell yeah. Yes. Hey, hell yeah. Yeah. Sick too busy talking, missing all the stuff you might have witnessed. We pick a watch and stick with everyone who's riding with us. Always wanted the money. Been about my business. So, growing up, did you live in a house that played music all the time? Yeah, my parents were like really, really musically influenced. Okay. Um, my mom used to do a lot of dancing, so she would always Some like. Some James Brown in there? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, a little oh, James Brown, a little up, James you know? She's just <laughs> <laughs> breaking it up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but like a lot of Beatles, a lot of like. Uh, my dad used to put me on the like Temptations was the first CD I ever owned. My dad bought wow. me that. So we used to drive around, and listen to oldies. Um, my mom used to like take like me driving to, the to school dance and studio. stuff. Yeah, like exactly. like, yeah, that was like what uh, the first mu music I ever fell in love with was like oldies that. music because of my dad. Um, and I used, just used to hang out in like the dance studio with my mom and she would okay. dance like late at night. Yeah, so it was always around. All right. And um, what artist were you and your friends listening to that could have inspired you to pursue music as a career? Man, all right. So like the first people I'm, I've, I've, like the first type of hip hop that I really started messing with, um, was a lot of stuff on the radio and everything. Yeah. So it, and and that always seemed very like out of reach for me. And you're from the you're from like NorCal, right? Yeah, Bay. What was the station that you're listening to really? Uh, Cameo. Yeah, mainly Cameo. Yeah, 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 for a little, sure. Uh, 94. Nine, yeah, a definitely. little more back. They used to play mm -hmm. a little more hip hop back in the day. But, uh, but you know, it was re when I really kind of started getting into underground hip-hop a little more that I was like, yo, this is really doable for a lot of us. You know what I mean? So people like Brother Ali, uh, Atmosphere, Merce, um, yep. Little Brother. He cut his hair too, Merce. Yeah. See that? Damn. <laughs> yeah, that was, he's had his hair cut for a minute now. Yeah, though. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I saw him on yeah. Wild and Out, I think, and I was like, no, Merce! Yeah, no, the dreads got cut off a minute ago, okay. yo. Lucky I ain't listen, get too busy talking, missing all the stuff you might have witnessed. We pick them wise and stick with everyone who's riding with us. Always wanted the money, been about my business, but I'm on some bubble sparks, just searching to find deliverance. Keep a break. What time of your life did you discover the confidence in yourself? Like, hey, I can definitely do this. This is dope. Like, I have the mentality. I got, like, 
the rhymes, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I would really say, like, truthfully, not until, like, a year ago. Okay. Even though I've been doing it for a minute now, like, the whole time I, I kind of would, you know, it was like, damn, I'm going to do this, but I don't really know how much uh, how much chance there is of this being successful or something. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Uh, and that's kind of like what my last album, Make Believe, was about. And it's really like this idea that you need to create that belief in yourself. Okay. You can't just step into something and fully believe that you're going to be successful at it without failing and getting over your failures and growing. And you know what I mean? All those types of things. Like, that's part of the process in building that belief and that confidence in yourself that's going to translate to other people. See, that kind of made me seem of the day, your Daydreams album uh -huh. was, like, more like kicking back and, like, thinking about your thoughts. Like, can I do this? Can I really do Like, I yeah. felt like that was um, Daydreams. And then your album that you are just talking about, Make Believe, was like, oh, this is setting me off. Like, I'm about to be on my plane exactly. right now. And yeah. Like so daydreams is kind of like, yeah, it's that, it's like that sitting back and envisioning that. Uh -huh. But it's like it's somewhere out there. Right. And then make believe is like, nah, we're we're gonna achieve all those daydreams now. Oh, is daydream. that's what okay. we're achieving on a day to day basis. Same person with artwork. Um, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and I heard your. You graduate college, right? So yeah. as a college student, we kind of find our niche and click, right? Um, when you went to college, were you always hang out with people in your major? Nah, I, I hung out with a lot of different people, which was yeah. what, what was really cool about kind of where I was at. Like, I, I played basketball in college, so I got to oh, hang nice. out with a lot of, you know, a little more kind of like what position. Jog, uh, I played everything, man. Yeah. But mainly like <laughs> shooting guard. But six I was kind of like, like that. that. <laughs> nah, like, I played forward a couple okay. games and shit. Okay. Like, I was posting up against some <laughs> six, eight fools sometimes. Just, you know, and what college, college is this? Uh, Pitzer College. Okay. Down in Southern California. Or uh, I guess we're in Southern we're California. We're in Southern California. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, People might know what that college is. Near Pomona. Near Pomona. Okay. Yeah. Um, but but so I got to hang out with those people and then there was a lot of like kind of artsy type of people and the, and the musicians so it was really cool just kind of building with all different groups of people and yeah. it's, I feel like like th that age when people are in college is really people are very open to new things and Definitely. It, you know what I mean it's just kind of people like excited and, and willing to you know work with different people and build and things like that so it, yep. it was a really inspirational time for me I love college man <laughs> what was your major uh, I did the double major in psychology and organizational studies. So not even music? Nah, nah. Wow, okay. Yeah. So are your parents okay with you pursuing music and that's not even your major at all? Yeah, nah, I feel like I'm the one that feels more guilt than them. Because yeah. I'm like, yo, we took out these loans. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, I do. I feel you. We did you. all this stuff. Yo, y'all immigrated to this country so I could go to college <laughs> and get this degree and now I'm not even going to use it. Um, but nah, they, like, they're the type of people that are, that are so all about doing what generation? you love and everything. Yeah. Nice, yeah. man, nice. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. We just want to party. Always be with the party play. If you're giving it up, I keep giving it. If you're giving it up, I keep giving it. If you're giving it up, I keep giving it. To the beach, y'all. All right, so you've been in, on tour since October. What are some lessons that you've learned during the Nice Dreams tour? Yeah. I mean, really, it's just like adapting being 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 lately uh, right? yeah, yeah no yeah. for real like yeah. learning learning growing adapting being uh and just and just loving this stuff because if you really don't love it then it's not gonna work so i've been up since 4 a.m but i love it like when i used to have to go to work at 8 30 a.m yeah. i was pissed off this it's morning four. you know what i mean and yeah, this morning waking you. up at it four i had you. a smile on my face ready to go and so Man. like if you love this stuff it's not gonna be a problem if, uh, you, you hear know, that you hear that you listen to KCR College Radio, and if you love what you do, keep doing it. If it doesn't make you money, keep doing it regardless. Yeah, it's going to work out in the end, you know what right? I'm saying? Yeah, as long as you stick with it. You know what I've learned, too? A lot of people tell me, a lot of these artists that have been in it in a minute, and they're like, you know, the difference between us who made it and all the ones who you saw with us at the beginning and fell mm -hmm. off is we stuck with it. Right. All of them had just as much skill as us, mm -hmm. just as much following, and, and then they hit those roadblocks and gave up. But we were the ones to hit those roadblocks and keep going through them, and that's why we're where, where we're at. And it's really about that persistence. Is that you know what you mean? think? Yeah, drive. it's the persistent. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Don't stop. If you love it, keep doing it. Man, that's great, man. Yeah. I really appreciate you talking to us. Hey, no doubt. I appreciate y'all, uh, man. man. We're KCR College Radio. Hey. Jay Lately. Hell yeah, man. Hey, shout out KCR for having us out here, man. <laughs> San Diego. I love y'all. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate no doubt. It. If we call them opinions, I'm okay with that. So just breathe. I know you need that. Just breathe. Go ahead and relax. Take a little bit. Of, need a little more. Something better for us. No forever for us. But the present is the gift. Don't forget it's yours.